G'day guys, in this video, I'm gonna go through Raptor coating the hard top on my Jeep. Let's go. Righto guys, welcome back. So yes, Raptor coating. Uh, a couple years ago, I Raptor coated all my flares, bar work, uh, side steps, and uh, it's all held up really well, even the uh, rocker guards there. So it's all held up really well. Uh, no issues with it at all. It's been a couple of years now, and uh, really happy with it. So I've been uh, meaning to get on to doing the hard top, because as you'll see, if I can get up there, it's uh, as these hard tops seem to happen, they they get a bit faded and a bit worn. Uh, and on top, if I can get up there, it's really faded on top. So not only that, on the inside, uh, when before I uh, owned the Jeep, the previous owner had some of the they're like rugged ridge insulation panels, and they were siliconed on and they've all sort of fallen down uh, and all the silicon stayed up there and it looks pretty crap. You see up here, see all this. So I'm gonna uh, clean all that up and then wrap the coat on the inside and then re-insulate because uh, we're getting ready to go on this big road trip up into the hotter areas of Australia. So uh, as much insulation as we can is gonna be very uh, good for the dogs. So and us because you can as you know in the jeeps you can feel the heat beating through the plastic hard top so insulation and raptor coating so gonna get all the roof off and uh, get stuck into it so i got the freedom panels off as you can see they are a mess so i gotta try and get up all this silicon and clean it all up and then give it a sand so the raptor will stick to it so it's gonna be fun Time to get the hard top off. It's a bit of a rig on the hoist, but it's handy when you've got a hoist. It's got to get a little bit higher, then I can drive out from under it and let it down to the ground. all prepped so we've got the, the two freedom panels uh, if I can get the camera to turn so I decided to tape up these edges even though they're white underneath because uh, this is the sealing surface against the rubber and because uh, the, the Raptors like even more textured than this I don't want to risk uh, having any more chance of leaks uh, than these hard tops already sort of get so uh, taped up these these edges on both uh, and then just a few of the screw holes so then I get bogged up with all the Raptor so that's the freedom panels and then the actual hard top obviously the windows and also where it seals along the bottom uh, and just these edges here because I'll do them when I turn it over and do the top side so we're pretty much ready to uh, Start throwing some Raptor on. Woo. All right, first step, adhesion promoter, because we're going on the plastic. 
and they recommend chucking a bit of this on, so I'm gonna shake it up. Goes on clear, just a couple of coats of this to help the raptor stick. Uh, so we'll chuck that on now. As soon as I can get the dogs off, Vienna, out. Come on, let's go. <laughs> All right. Alright, I first coat down of the adhesion promoter. We'll give that 10 minutes to dry and then flash on another coat. Uh, and then we're good to go for the Raptor. Just setting up my compressor to the right pressure. It says I want it from 40 to 60 PSI, so I'm just, uh, just adjusting. See how close that is, it's sort of sitting around 50. So just got the uh, Raptor gun, comes with the kit. I've used this one before obviously, but uh, it's a pretty good little gun. You just jam it in the bottle and uh, it's good to go. So gonna mix up some Raptor and get started. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a fuel line per bottle. Hardener, so we'll chuck the hardener in. Just sit that up there. there we go. Ooh, I remember that smell. Chucking the mask on before we start spraying because this stuff is strong. Alright. Take one of the bottles and harden her in. There we go. Cap back on and shake the shit out of it. on the gun good to go Texture in it. Time to do the rest. One can out of four down. So the two front panels I went pretty hard on and uh, got a good coat. That looks so much better already. And then on the actual rear hard top, I went pretty thin in the center because that's all getting dynamited and covered with insulation anyway. Um, and it's just a, I just basically went till the can ran out, but I got a good coat in all the tricky areas and um, and then the next coat will finish it off nicely. So yeah, right around there. And then in the center is a little bit thin, but as I said, it's all getting covered over. So 
uh, but wow, looks so much better. Um, does stink, but uh, just got to wait 60 minutes now. It goes, goes off in 60 minutes and then um, chuck the second coat on and then the inside uh, is all done. All right, second coat is down and it's looking pretty good. As I said, I left it thinnish on the two panels there because they're getting covered with insulation. But uh, it all came up pretty nice. It's a bit tricky because upside down getting in up under there, but uh, we got it. So pretty happy. It's a new day and it's set lovely. So it's all gone rock hard. It says seven days to set fully, but here at that so you can feel the texture but uh, all the insides done um, before I flip it over and do the outside I'm going to do the insulation on the inside so I've got a couple of sheets of dynamat left over from when I did the floor of the Jeep a year or so ago and uh, I thought I mean they only weigh you know, maybe half a kilo if that each so I'm just going to use them up Chuck one in either section there, something like that. Um, and then they get covered up with the insulation panels I've got laying over there. So hopefully stop a little bit of outside noise um, between the Raptor, this, and the uh, insulation panels. Uh, hopefully it'll be uh, a lot better. So. Insulation done. Now time to turn it over and wrap to coat the outside. So the idea with the sandpaper was just to rough it up a little bit and then cleaned it down with a bit of acetone as you've seen uh, just to get all the dust off. So that's ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to finish taping up all the rubbers and, uh, and then I'll send it. So she's all taped up and uh, once again the adhesion promoter just because it's plastic and it will help it stick. So I'll spray this on and let it set and uh, then we're ready to go. And away we go. Two coats on, just gonna let it dry. Came up pretty good. So, not gonna have to worry about scratches on it anymore. 
É. Not too bad. Gave it a few days to dry and uh, it's not too bad. I'll get in close so you can sort of see a little bit of texture on it. Now I just got to start getting all the taping off. And um, put him back on the Jeep. So we've got it back on. I haven't cleaned up the rest of it. These I did this two years ago on here, but looks pretty good. You can sort of see the, the texture of it. So my last job will probably be to do the roof rack at some stage, but for now, Pretty happy with that. Just a quick shot. Now we've got him installed inside. Looks a lot cleaner. And uh, pretty good. Yeah, pretty happy with that. So, any questions, uh, flick them through, but uh, that's about it. So. Thanks for watching.